everybody, you're watching Pros Park Pass and today we're going to take you all the way to the top of the Washington Monument and we're going to go also into uh, Congress. We have special tickets. I'll tell you how exactly how to do all this if you ever want to come on a vacation here with the family. Something kind of cool though, if you look right there, do you see? They had to rebuild it. You see how the, the bricks are different down below right there, right by that line? That's where they had to rebuild it. I'll give you the whole history of this as we get into it. Let's do this. There she is. Hey, before this video starts, we need to do, you guys gotta do a couple things. First, hit the subscribe button. Okay. Second, hit the like button. Okay. And then I think we're ready to go. But wait, actually. Wait, but well, there's more. Uh, there's more. You guys, right now the cherry blossoms are blossoming. They are so beautiful. They're so pretty. I can't wait to share with you these cherry blossoms. This is a special thing that happens during the springtime. So comment below cherry blossoms. And if you wanna see more cherry blossoms, comment cherry blossoms. I'll show you all the cherry blossoms. Here you have the, uh, cherry blossoms right there. Look at the beautiful trees. And then I know it's a little windy. I'm so sorry. It's a little windy. But you look up here and see the top of the monument. Here's a fun fact. The very, very, very top of the monument, there is metal on top of it. It's aluminum. Now, the reason they did aluminum, because at the time they built this, they thought aluminum was the most valuable metal that they could find. Of course, now it's very common. We know that. But at the time, they thought it was worth a lot. So they put aluminum at the top of the Washington Monument. Aluminum! Okay, so we just got inside. This is the base. This is where we get ready to go up. This was built, they said it's like 1904. So, here we go. Now, you might be wondering, like, how do you get tickets? You have to have tickets to come to Washington Monument. And it's free, but you have to have tickets. So you go to the um, website 30 days in advance and request tickets. And it, what are you doing? It goes out super fast. So you want to get your tickets super fast. Now, they do have tickets day of that you can get, but those are gone in seconds. So we went 30 days, um, and on the 30 day right before we came here, we went and got some reservations, and it's awesome. Now we're gonna be taking this elevator up. It takes 70 seconds. Originally, with the first elevator that was put in here, it took 15 minutes for it to go all the way up. But now they do it in about 70 seconds. Right at the base, there's a statue of George Washington. And this is, they say, is the most accurate representation of George Washington. They actually measured his body and the face, they did a plaster cast while he was alive. And so they said this is exactly how tall he was and that's exactly how he looked. He's on a little bit of a pedestal, but that's what our first president looked like. This is the, one of those windows that we're looking out and you can see the Capitol right outside. And the museums, these are different museums right there. Wow. All right, so we're gonna look out the west window. You can see right out the west window, you can see the Lincoln Memorial. Then this is the reflecting pond, but right now it's, they're kind of draining it. So there's not a lot of water in there. Um, yeah. This is the Vietnam Memorial. That's, I'm gonna, I think I might do a whole video of the Secret Reveal of that memorial, because it means so much to me. And then this is yeah, the reflecting pond, all these things. It's just look at all the cherry blossoms. Aww. Okay, so here's some really fun facts about the Washington Monument. It's 555 feet, five inches, and one eighth inch. So five and five eighth inches tall. When it was completed, it was the world's tallest structure. But then five years later, the Eiffel Tower came along and doubled the size of it. So, but it still is the world's tallest freestanding stone structure. There's no still in it. It's just stones on top of stones on top of stones, gravity holding it in place. <laughs> gravity and everyone holding their breath. Yeah, gravity and, and wishes and bubble gum. <laughs> now we're going to look out the north side and you can see the White House. You can see the fountain in the front. Oh There's my the gosh. White House. Isn't that pretty? Look how pretty the grounds are. Mm -hmm. Like the, the lines in the grass. It's just so, so pretty. That's what you like to do with our grass. I do. I like when I mow the lawn. I and like the big lines. lines. I do. <laughs> you want good lines in lawn. Perfectly for sure. manicured lawn. By the way, that right there. That's the National Christmas tree. Yeah. It's a very cute bulbous tree. Yeah, it's tree. A, a bulbous tree, as Amanda says. Very cute. And then, like, you can see some um, blossoms on those trees. I think mm -hmm. there's some cherry blossoms, but also maybe magnolia trees. Yeah. So here's some of my favorite trivia about the White House. When President Carter was president at the time, his daughter, and I can't remember her name, she was in elementary school and uh, or junior high, and the teachers asked that all the kids to go to their houses and identify plants. So she was obviously living in the White House, and so she started identifying the plants. 
Well, everybody took interest in that project. So now if you ever are able to go on the White House grounds, every single tree is identified and every plant is identified because that's a school project. I just want to show you. So there's the White House. You see the circle right there? But look, in the 1940s, they had baseball fields out there. I wish they still had those, those baseball fields, but uh, they don't. That'd be sweet. You guys got to look. There's a, that's Marine One. That, see the, the helicopters right there? Look at Marine that. One, that's what the president flies on. There's, Marine One is coming in. You don't know which one he's in, but he's flying in. You see him coming in? And then there's a third one right there. One, Where's, two, three. Oh, third one's right over there. This is unreal. There goes the... That must be the one he's in because that's the one that's going that's the only in. one that's going in. So that there's a peeled yeah. off. Yeah. So where'd the others go? I, I don't know. Notice. I don't see. They just I don't, disappeared. Yeah, one of them's just right here, I guess. Okay. Oh, he's, he's oh yeah, he's here. flying away. So there's that helicopter flying away. There's the president's helicopter landing. This is so cool. You see it? I can't believe that. They're in front of the White House. There's a helicopter landing. I see it. So cool. Okay, come here. Go get your siblings. That's something you don't see hardly oh ever. Gosh. I'm so happy. I was wondering what was going on because more and more people kept coming out of the White House. Like something is happening. Oh, the other two are still circling. You see the guy on top of the roof. You can see him. You he's see on the top of the White House, the security guards. Yeah, he's yeah. watching it. Nice and easy. Make it a nice little easy landing. See right there in the White House? Right the on the X's. Yeah. That's the perfect perfect landing. That's Sorry, it's a little it's a little shaky guys because I've zoomed so far in. I'll show you. Wait, it is your sister's turn. I wanna get a picture of the helicopter. I did. Oh, okay. Here you go, So they had three helicopters fly in. There's their decoys because you never know which one the president's going to be in. He was in the middle one, right? Well, when the they landed, it was the middle one, but when they're flying, you don't know which right. one Right, and then the two peeled away. Blade's slowing down. Maybe we'll see the president exit. Oh my gosh. Or board, maybe. I don't know. Oh my gosh. Maybe they're waiting. Oh, look, someone's coming out. Oh, you're right. Someone is it's got approaching, bags. Yeah, approaching the helicopter with bags. Those are maybe the footballs, huh? Maybe. There's a bunch of people just waiting on the outside. But no one seems like they're in a hurry. Oh, look. Yep. <laughs> Did the other two break off and go? Yeah, they're gone. For a minute, a while. And if you look on top of the White House, you can see people walking way. around. <laughs> okay, more and more people are coming out now. They're all lining up. <laughs> what is happening? Look, they're all in a line. Like, they're lining up in the diagonal line towards the helicopter. Is that the House. staff? I mean, there's a bunch of people coming yeah, out. Are. They're moving. Why are they moving? Yeah. Okay, someone is going in, in, out through the middle door. Did you see someone just come out that middle door? And they're moving. Coming down the steps? No, it was the middle bottom door. Everyone's moving now. Are those Secret Service that are spreading out? Oh, there's a guy coming up there towards Secret the helicopter. Service. Interesting. This is so fascinating. Because another person just came out the middle door. People are coming out the middle door. Okay, you see those people? They're walking out. Oh, lots of people are coming out now. <gasps> Heading towards the helicopter with bags. Oh my gosh. Oh my 
Was that him? People are now in the helicopter. Goodness. My mom can hardly lift me up. So, do you think he was in that group? So, yeah, we don't know. Is everybody else dispersing or not yet? Um, they're yeah. watch. It looks like they Oops. kind of spread out to see the helicopter more. But the rotors aren't starting. The rotors uh -huh. aren't started. I can't see. Them. But a bunch. I thought it was like a big group of people. They had bags. Some had yeah. bags. Yeah. So I could see the helicopter, but I should. Maybe he comes out separate, so for photo ops or. Oh, there goes. Oh no, nope, nope. no! I think there that goes was the it. He must yeah. have been there. Yeah. Jeez, Louise, that's crazy! I can't believe we saw that. Come back in. Yeah. This is so cool. This is so cool. Ah, perfect timing. Mm -hmm. There it goes. There it goes. Just That's yeah, staff, staff maybe. There. Yeah. It's, I could be a send up oh, person. Oh, the helicopter's turning. I don't see any other helicopters though, which is right. interesting. Slowly Can turning. Can you see it, baby? Oh, it's coming towards us. It really is. It's coming right it towards us. It was sweet. It is coming right towards us. Yeah, it's coming towards us. Awesome. That's a really cool. Here it comes. It's going to fly right by us, guys. Dude. There it goes. The president is probably in there. Say hi, president. Hi, president. president. Hardest job in the world, I man. Know. There he goes. Oh my gosh. No. <laughs> Group of people, and then he got in the helicopter and he flew right by us. I'm feeling all patriotic. You're all patriotic. Yeah. Way to go, oh, babe. <laughs> so they started to build a monument. As a private company started to build it, and by 1848, uh, by 1854, they had reached 152 feet. They ran out of money. It stayed like that for 20 years, as it was unfinished. Eventually, the, uh, the government came in and they decided to go in and they, they, they complete the project. That's why though, if you look right there on the outside, it's a different color stone because it went back to the original quarry where they started to do it, but that quarry had been all used up. So they went to a different quarry and that's why the stones are a little bit different. But there it is, this is during Civil War, these soldiers standing in front of the unfinished monument. Now inside, which you can't see from the outside, on the inside, every state has their, they have like a stone that has uh, like a carving and this is like to be all part of it here. So every single state has their like a little monument. Like there's like Kansas, uh, they've got Massachusetts, Washington. And what was interesting is the state of Florida, the state of Florida, they had their plaque. And remember how the monument was unfinished? Well, the plaque was sitting out right at the top where it's unfinished and the weather came down and it kind of washed away the state of Florida. So they had to get another plaque. And so they put a new plaque in for the state of Florida, which is the shiniest plaque because it, uh, it's just an interesting little tidbit. But each state has their own plaque inside the monument. See if you can find your state as a pen across. This is just a picture of all the different plaques. So there's Florida, the shiniest one. I see Idaho, Maryland, Nevada. See if you can find your state. This here's a little like pictogram showing you where all the different monuments, the little plaques are. Like Alaska is towards the top. Delaware is right down here. Delaware's was actually made from the Brandywine battlefield where the Continental Army fought in 1777. So that's where they all are. This is the Washington, right six foot four. 
If you are of a similar height or taller, please move to the center of the elevator, because on the way down, we'll be doing something special. Twice, the elevator will slow, the lights will dim, the windows will become clear, and you will be able to see some of the over 190 commemorative stones that line the interior of the monument from top to bottom. Each stone has a story. These stones come from everywhere. Every state donated one, as do numerous countries, cities, societies, colleges, Masonic lodges, and military units, all to showcase the strength and breadth of Washington's legacy. Pretty much anyone and everyone who wanted to honor General Washington did so. One person who didn't understand the point of the commemorative stones was Peter Force. A former mayor of Washington, D.C., Force donated a stone that merely said his name, Peter Force. Afterwards, the Monument Commission enacted a requirement. Individuals were not allowed to give stones because no one is bigger than General Washington. Commemorative stones became part of the construction as soon as they arrived. After the cities of Baltimore and New York donated massive stones, a requirement was sent out that the stones had to be a smaller, uniform size in order to fit into the monument. Here you may notice a change in the monument from smooth, machine-cut stones to rough, hand-carved blocks. Transition a clear example of the passage of time as we travel back through history to the first phase of construction. Stones were required to be made from native materials. You'll see a lot of marble, limestone, and granite, but there are some unique stones as well. Arizona's is made of petrified wood, Hawaii's is coral, Alaska's is jade, and Wisconsin's is cheese. Not really, but isn't it nice to think so? Thank you for visiting the Washington Monument. Now you can go online and uh, see all the different plaques online if you would like to do that, because it was kind of hard to see. Again, I just want to show that you can see the stone color here. Let's see there if I can show you that. That's where it stood for 20 years uncompleted. And then when they went back to the quarry, it was gone, so they had to use a different quarry. That's why it still is different, but how awesome is it? Okay, so for this next part of the video, we're going to go to the state capitol. Now, to go to the state capitol, you have to have a ticket to get in. How do you get a ticket? You have to reach out to your congressman or your senator and request one. So we reached out to our congressman, did not hear back. Nothing. So we're like, well, we'll reach out to the senator. So Amanda's mom, Sweet D, she reached out to the senator. And I'm like, the senator's not going to respond. Within 24 hours, the senator was, staff responded. They got us tickets. We're going to be able to see the Congress. And they're going to take us to the Senate floor. So this is a big deal. We couldn't believe it. But any, you could go to any of your congressmen or your senators and uh, request tickets to go to the Capitol. And it's free. And they will give you a little, they give you like a, you know, a little tour to go see the Capitol. I've never done this before, so I don't know what to expect. As I learn new things, I'll share it with you guys. Let's do this. It's a little bit windy, guys, but we're walking there. There's the Washington Monument that we're just at right down there. We're now walking through the National Mall. And this is the Smithsonian Castle. And man, it thinks that this part looks like the Haunted Mansion from uh, Disneyland, it's particularly in Florida. All right, we watched, walked across the National Mall through all the museums, and now we're at the Capitol, and that's what we're gonna go do a little tour, guys. Let's check it out. We are now at the front of the State Capitol. About to meet our tour group and go inside. All right, this is our little tour group. This is our tour leader, uh, Guy G Luke. He said we can record. This is a Helen Kell statue. Statue. It's the only statue here that you can touch. Every state has sent two statues, and the statues are here for 10 years. Then after 10 years, they do another statue. The rules are that the person has to be dead and they have to have done something great for that state. So this is for like Minnesota, Maria L. Sanford. And so after 10 years, if the state wants, they can bring in a new statue. There's 104 statues. This is Lady Liberty. It's a statue here. It's the tallest statue in Washington, DC. And if you notice, she's got hearts in her eyes. It is a plaster cast of the statue that's actually on top of the dome here at the Capitol. She has 13 stars across her head for the 13 original colonies. Okay, so this here is the original entrance into the capital. You notice that the building's a little bit different here. It was dug down so you can see the original foundation. The War of 1812, the British came in and they stormed the castle and burned it down. They came through this door right here. Now this is a hallway with the senator's office. There's a hundred senator offices and um, here at the capitol building. This is what they all look like but they don't tell you which senator, which office is which senator for security reasons. The original pillars here, you see corn because of agriculture. If you look at this pillar here, you see these dark spots. And this pillar here, you see these dark spots? That was because they were, um, they were got damaged in the battle of the war of 1812 when the British invaded. 
This here is originally, the Supreme Court was here in the Capitol, it's no longer. But see these three chairs here? Those are originally um, the three chairs of the Supreme Court justices. Those are the nine where they sat. And this is where they would, the, the attorneys would have sat. You notice it's a little bit darker. It's because this is how it would have looked in the times of when they had the Supreme Court here in the Capitol. There's a giant clock right there. The clock is set by tradition to be five minutes fast. This desk right here is where the scribe would have recorded everything that was being said to the nine justices during the court. We were told that they said that this capital is haunted by a cat. And if you look at this little paw prints there, there's three places in the, you see the paw right there? Yep. Three places in the capital where these paw prints are on the ground and they don't know how they got there. There's a beautiful chandelier up here in the capital and they don't know where this chandelier came from. There's two theories. One that was that it's supposed to be in the Titanic and they had it here when the Titanic was supposed to arrive and it never came so they put it up there. But their more realistic explanation is, is that they think it was at a brothel that the senators would frequent and they liked it and it was donated. <laughs> when you come in, you're gonna see this right here. This is the very center of the Capitol and it's also the very center of Washington, D.C. And uh, George Washington, when he says, I want this to be right here in the center, you'll notice there's like a little divot there. It's kind of concave. It's because um, the uh, senators believe it's good luck to vote with their foot there. They've been doing that for years and years and years before they vote. Now, this room that we're in is called the Crypt. That's right where the center is right there. It was originally intended to be the burial place of George Washington and his wife, Martha. Uh, and they wanted it to have his bodies on display, but George Washington didn't want this. He wanted it to be a place for the people, not a place of worship. And so he put it in his will that he wanted to be buried in Mount Vernon. When he died, the Capitol had a massive lawsuit with the state of Virginia saying that they, he belongs here, uh, but Virginia won, he's buried in Mount Vernon. But they still call this room the Crypt. Okay, so here we are in the rotunda. Again, it's the center of Washington, D.C. If you look up, guys, it looks absolutely gorgeous. There's a lot of history in this particular room. I'm gonna to try to go through and teach a little bit what I can. Starting right here, they had an artist, that part right there, they had an artist paint, and he was painting, and he got to right about there, and he fell off the scaffolding. He didn't die, but he refused to get back up. So they left this area up here blank for the longest time. It took about 40 years before they find another artist who could paint like he does. That artist went and was continuing on with the original drawings, kept drawing, 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 painting, 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 and he got to right there where those two soldiers are shaking hands. That's all they had. So this area here was left blank. They left blank and then in the 1950s, they came in here and they painted it with a third artist. Now, Congress wouldn't let the artists sign their names, so they did a tricky thing. This artist right here put his face right there on that baby. See, that's baby, even though it's a six-year-old man, that's the, uh, the original artist. Then, this artist over here, he put his face in a tree. Right there in the tree. And then this last artist, he painted right over here and he put his face right here on this guy who's looking straight at us. How cool is that? Continuing on, it just shows all the different paintings and um, statues they have. And every one of these statues is a president, except for this statue right over there. That's for women's suffrage. You notice that it's not completed because there's still work to be done. And then we go right over here, the newest statue. For Dr. Martin Luther King Jr. I can't describe to you the beauty of it. Now this, there's been three domes. The original dome burned down when during the War of 1812. And they rebuilt it again in, with iron. And then they rebuilt it again and again with iron. That up there is all painted to look like it's, looks like it's natural, but it is real iron work. Just walking along, look at all the marble and at the mosaic tile work. We're now going to go in the old Senate chamber. This is how the old Senate was when they don't use this room now for the Senate. The only thing they use this room for now is when they swear in a new senator that comes in here with the vice president. But you see that little table there? That's where the bills would be as they pass through a committee and get the very top, they go ahead and preside it to become law. And this is what the old Senate would look, room looks like. This is Speaker of the House, Kevin McCarthy's office, right here. All right, so th this is the old house, that, uh, and now they call it the statuary room. 
Uh, this is where you use the House of Representatives would be. But this is where almost all, remember we talked about all the different statues? That all these different statues are lined up here. Yes. They actually had to reinforce the floor because the statues would get so heavy. But I want to show you something really cool. On the floor, there are, diff there are seven different markers this is where Abraham Lincoln would have sat when he was here in the House of Representatives. His desk location. You can see all of these statues. They go all the way around the room. And again, each state gets to send two statues. They get to be here for 10 years. And then at that point, they can choose to have them be removed and send new statues or whatever they want to do. Now, there are only two fireplaces in this huge rotunda. There's one right here, then went all the way across over there. And they would do this, they divided up the seniority. People who've been here had more seniority got to sit by fireplaces because it was cold during the winter time. All right, this statue of Reagan is the only one that's roped off because there's pieces of the Berlin Wall that were added to the statue. So it's the only one that's been roped off. You can't go out to it. This is the plaque in memory of passengers um, on the United Airlines Flight 93 from September 11th. That flight was heading to the capital, and so this is in remembrance and honor of them. All right, so this is crazy. Um, they gave us these, since we did this our tour through our uh, senator, they gave us these passes. These passes allowed us to go onto the Senate floor and watch them vote on a bill. We were not allowed to take cell phones. We couldn't take anything electronic, like if your Bluetooth, your, your like a watches, Fitbits. Everything, they took everything away. We got to go on the Senate floor and watch them vote. We saw uh, Bernie Sanders vote. We saw Mitt Romney. I saw Ted Cruz. Uh, I don't know. There's this one senator. I don't know who he is. But I had to look him up because his name was I think it was Booker, and he came out and he did not like the bill, and he was just like, no, 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 no. He was adamantly against it. So it was. I, I thought it was so fascinating. And it's very quiet. You're not allowed to make any sounds when you're in the into the gallery at all. You have to be very quiet. And our son Miles did so good. We sat there for about 15 minutes. He didn't make a sound. And now we're gonna get a treat. So I had to look him up. Senator Booker is a senator from New Jersey. All right. And uh, he was the most animated. He, he was came the most out animated. and he was he did not like this bill and he was just like thumbs down, thumbs down. It made me smile. Like he seemed very passionate. Some other senators like literally they'd just walk into the chamber and they'd just be like. They're like, no, and then some would give a thumbs up. Some and would it, walk all the way to the front. Yeah, some would walk all the way to the front. Some would hardly walk in the door, barely. The chamber, they just come, the door would open, they just like do their vote. They would, that's how you do, they had them walk in, they either they'd give a thumbs up or a thumbs down. That's all they had to do. And aye. some of the senators, and if there was a thumbs up, there was an aye, if it was a thumbs down, it was a no. Some senators walked all the way to the front, and others just walked in the door, thumbs up or thumbs down, and turned around. Very so fascinating. It was, it was I really cool. I could have sat there for a lot longer. I thought that was very fascinating. We're in the gift shop here at the Capitol. And I found a spirit jersey. This is this is what I love. So I have a spirit jersey from Disney Cruise Line, Disneyland Paris, Disney World, Disneyland, Disney, Walt Disney Studios in Burbank, California, and now the U.S. Capitol. Oh, Alani. I have a spirit jersey of Alani. Good grief, babe. Yeah, so I love she it. She loves these. I love these. What does the front say? Does it just have anything in the front? Oh, it just says uh, U.S. Capitol, US Capitol. But the back is where it's at, right? The back is where it's at. I'm getting it. So Amanda's gonna get the spirit jersey, and Miles, he wants a pencil. It says U.S. Capitol. This is what he chose of all the different pencils. He wanted this. So there you go, Miles. There you go, Amanda. All right, guys, we are gonna go to We the Pizza. Get the pizza. I just want to say thank you so much for watching our video. I hope you learned something new about the Washington Monument and also the Capitol. That tour was absolutely amazing. Wait a minute. Did you like this video yet? If you haven't. Hit that like button, hit that subscribe button. Do you know what's also amazing? You, you are absolutely 100% amazing. You are awesome, you are cool, you're great, and you make the world a better place. Did you know that? You do. And the reason you make the world a better place is because you are here. If you ever get confused by that point and you feel like you don't have a friend or you're worried about whatever's going on, you come back here to Pearls Park Pass and know that I think you're amazing. I want you to know that no matter, no matter what's going on in your world right now, it's going to get better. I promise you, it will get better. That is a promise, my friend. All right, thank you so much, guys. Hit the subscribe button, hit the like button, and let's continue on. I'll see you on our next video. Bye-bye. This wasn't the most amazing day. We got to go through the Capitol and watch the senators vote. We accidentally saw the president of the United States while we were at the Washington Monument. 
Oh yeah.